All right, we're in here uh, with a trio of, uh, we've got two red males and then a red gilt, uh, uh, two different litters. Uh, the 117 litter uh, be lots five and six, be a barrow and a gilt out of that litter. They are uh, red eyes back on a 38 special. He's the one night sow, would actually raise Riley Wentz, a fifth overall Duroc bear there at Georgia there a couple weeks ago. Uh, red eyes, the tallman boy, we partnered with Trace Amigos on to purchase and sure excited what he's going to do. Uh, the 117.2 uh, is lot 5, and 117.8 is lot 6. So uh, we'll talk about those first. Uh, the barrow uh, that Austin's going to get on is, is uh, 117.2, which would be lot 5. A little bit smaller barrow within the litter, but uh, we think one that offers some quality in terms of uh, just proportions. He's a good-headed kind of a hog, uh, a lot like those night hogs are, and I think still ties into a good body. Really flexible out of his hip and hind leg and extremely heavy structured. He's one that uh, just keeps coming on, and I think that's the way he's going to feed. He's going to be a really good, uh, really good one that uh, just feedability is going to be incredibly good when he comes with a little more muscle and shape. Everything matches in terms of squareness coming and going and flexibility, feet and legs, the feeding kind of a barrow that's going to last into that uh, June, July setting, I don't think without any kind of an issue and still be one that's uh, plenty going to be plenty ready enough in terms of flesh uh, to show him early. The gilt uh, on the other side is 117-8. Uh, this would be lot six. Uh, she's packing quite a bit of muscle and, and power for one at this particular size. And she's one that's probably a little more, uh, I guess, if you've got a market setting uh, or a breeding setting, she's got a lot of value there. She's heavy structured, uh, extremely good in terms of muscle shape and center body. She's big ended and she goes away with a good square hip and hind leg. And like I said, uh, she's got uh, more muscle than her litter mate brothers. Uh, but I think one that's, uh, that does have the bone and structure and width coming and going that, uh, that's going to get you out there early if you want to hit the jackpot scene or you want to show her as a market hog or she's got some boar bear making ability on down the way for sure. I think a real powerful guilt there in lot six. Lot seven is going to be a 118.5. A 118 litter. We sold uh, those pigs there in our last sale extremely well. This is the, the, the boar that did not make the uh, last sale. He just wasn't quite ready. Um, but uh, he's out of Hibachi, the $49,000 Joe Spurns boar that we bought there at uh, uh, Des Moines. And then his mom is the low guilt that was grand overall at the Expo in 19 and uh, Jurassic guilt from Weisinger. And this boar pig, obviously, he's intact for a reason. Uh, but we think he's going to make a tremendous kind of a, a, a barrel prospect or, or whatever because uh, he is one that just puts a lot of good things together. He does have a birthmark on his uh, right side, and that is going to be fine in terms of eligibility to show. It's not going to be an issue. It's a rubbing mark, we think, in the nursery. We're not real sure, but – Got that cleared. He's good to go. Uh, heavy structured and one that we think uh, uh, muscle patterns extremely good, but he's long about his neck. He's dark in his color, got great shape, squareness, flexibility is incredibly good. Uh, one that comes and goes with squareness and width, and everything just proportionalizes extremely good. But he is a bigger hog, but still going to have that muscle and power. Uh, and we think one that's going to feed into an incredibly good uh, mature barrow there uh, that they can go to those uh, that June setting. And, you know, July with a little bit of management, but he does have a little size to him, and we think that's all right because uh, he, he's one that's, uh, like his mother, just going to – looks like that pattern to get better every day of his life and, and just keep muscling up and powering up and be an incredibly good uh, uh, mature bear that we're really excited about this hog and we think he's going to feed awesome.